But Mass Effect Legendary Edition has been finally announced. The remaster is real, as well as an announcement of a brand new Mass Effect game. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video. Today we're talking about Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Finally, it has come around. The leaks have been real. The rumors have been true. It finally has been announced on, of all days, N7 day. So what is all the information that we know about this new Mass Effect game coming around for us guys? Well, let's dive right into it. On Bioware's official website, they finally posted up a blog here for us guys saying happy N7 day from Casey Hudson, the VP of Bioware himself. I like how he mentions here, it's tough keeping a big secret. And you know, we've been seeing various leaks and rumors kind of going around about this Mass Effect remaster going around guys. I mean, it's basically, it was all but confirmed because we had a recent leak from a Portuguese online store posting a kind of placeholder for the Mass Effect uh, remastered series. But now we finally, have it happening guys, it's real. Like this is actually happening. I'm so excited about this Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And just look at that art guys. Oh, it looks so good. It makes me so happy to see this. And it's, you know, it's Mass Effect one through three remastered for us all in a beautiful 4K resolution. They stay here that for months now, that the team at Bauer has been working hard updating textures, shaders, models, effects, and technical features of all three enormous games. Important thing here is that they mentioned that our goal was not to remake or reimagine the original games, but to modernize the experience so that fans and new players can experience the original work in its best possible form. Now, I find it interesting here that they mentioned they're not going to try to reimagine the original games, but they want to modernize them which would kind of be a reimagining in a way. I guess what they mean is that they don't want to just like loosely have it based off of Mass Effect and make it kind of like its own game, which we've seen previously with like basically like reboots that we've been seeing recently from, especially from uh, EA style games, like say like Mirror's Edge and kind of like what they're doing with like Halo Infinite as well. But they do say they want to modernize the experience. So I think probably most of that modernization will probably happen with Mass Effect 1 as the inventory system with all those mods was quite a lot of a hassle to try to manage that inventory. I mean, that was, honestly, that's one of my biggest gripes with that game is that I remember so many times like trying to play the game that, that I think about, oh God, but the inventory system is so cluttered that like it makes me not want to play the game, to be honest. But Mass Effect 2 and 3, I think did a great job on that. And then maybe we see like a tighter combat like we see in 2 and 3 with a little bit better management of inventory for Mass Effect 1 as well. So I can imagine seeing that happen, which that kind of, you know, modernization, I'm all for. Because even though Mass Effect 1's gameplay was great, I loved it, but it didn't really age super well and it's a bit clunky. So I would like to see it smoothed out a little bit with some more modern takes on the movement and shooting and things like that it would be fantastic. And they mentioned here saying that uh, super sharp resolution, faster frame rates and beautiful visual enhancements is just music to my ears when it comes to hearing about a Mass Effect remaster. I wanted to say rather true, but again, like there are some changes I think would be necessary bring these games up to a more modern state. Because Mass Effect 1 through 3 does have like a lot of washed out textures because they had to be on like the Xbox 360. There are some great PC mods you can download that will increase the resolution of a lot of textures to kind of clear up a lot of those muddy textures, but it'd just be great to get like an official version you just download and play. Now this whole paragraph right here is just awesome to hear about saying, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition will include single player based content and DLC from Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, plus promo weapons, armors, and packs, all remastered and optimized for 4K Ultra HD. It will be available in Spring 2021 for the Xbox One, PS4, and PC, with forward compatibility and targeted enhancements for the Xbox Series X and PS5, with more information to come in the new year. So we're not done yet. And it seems like they just dropped this extra little bit of information just super casually, but they just confirmed saying that uh, they're envisioning the next chapter of the Mass Effect universe. Stating that they're in the early stages of the project and can't say more yet. Now, if you remember Mass Effect Andromeda, which I'm sure most of you Mass Effect fans do, that uh, Mass Effect Andromeda wasn't the most well-received game. I mean, ultimately, it wasn't really that bad of a game as maybe some people on the internet might lead you to believe. It just didn't leave up to the massive expectations a Mass Effect game 
Rings. In fact, it's the only Mass Effect game I never finished. I'm currently working on it right now. I've downloaded it. I've got you know, going through like the first act of the game, so I'm still trying to make my way through it. But great to hear that the Mass Effect series is coming back. You know, we did hear from EA that uh, the Mass Effect series is going to be kind of put on ice in a way uh, after Andromeda because I guess they probably need to rethink exactly how they're going to go about bringing back Mass Effect because there is a dedicated fan base including myself that would love to see more games and content involving Mass Effect. Now I'm sure this does bring up the question for many of you guys who are longtime viewers of the channel enough focus a lot on Halo Infinite and the Halo franchise as a whole Trust me, that's not going away anytime soon. We're just going to be adding in some Mass Effect content because I am a huge fan of the series. If it wasn't for Halo, Mass Effect would be my main game, but I do absolutely love both franchises. They're very near and dear to my heart, hold a special part in my childhood and bringing up and just how I've learned to play video games. Those of you who are subscribed for Halo content, don't worry, that's not slowing down anytime soon. But if you guys are here for some Mass Effect stuff as well, we appreciate you coming along for the ride as well. We certainly will be releasing some more content on the games as well as streaming it as well. So check out the links in the description down below, people. Really would appreciate you coming over and hang out on Twitch with us. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen. Got a link to all my news and informational videos if you missed anything in the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.